Hi all, let's jump into a quick demo of one of the key features of AG2's 0.7 release, Tools with Dependency Injection. You'll find this notebook on the AG2 website. Dependency Injection allows you to pass values into tools that you don't want the LLM to see or be aware of. A typical example is usernames and passwords. They're not useful for the LLM, you don't want them passed around in messages or even logged. We'll run through three short demonstrations of Dependency Injection with tools so you can see how it is done in AG2. To get started, you need to pip install ag2, which I've done already. Here we do our imports, and we'll import base context and dependence, which we'll use for dependency injection. Say we want to restrict access to bank account balances. In this demonstration, we create an account class based on base context, which acts as a base structure for dependency injection. We create two account records for Alice and Bob, we then create a dictionary of bank balances, which will use the account's username and password to access. We have a verify account function that verifies if an account is valid by checking if it's in the balance dictionary. Then we have the get balance function that uses the verify account function and gets the balance from the dictionary using the account's username and password. Let's set up two agents. A conversable agent that's responsible for selecting the tool and a user proxy agent to execute the tool. Here is the magic of dependency injection. We have a getBalance1 function that we will register with our agent. This function will automatically receive the Bob account account object. The LLM won't be aware of this parameter, nor see its value. Let's run it and see if we can get Bob's account balance. Okay, we can see the balance returned is 200 USD. And that should match Bob's account bank balance. You can also inject parameters into tools by using functions instead of a base context based object. In this get balance to tool, instead of using the account class as a parameter, we have two parameters, each one using dependency injection and an associated function, get username and get password. Let's look at how we can align context to agents using dependency injection. Say we had a couple of third-party systems, each requiring their own username and password. In this case, we have a weather system and a ticketing system. Let's start with a couple of mock functions, one for each system. They'll take a username and password and their own additional parameters and return a value. We'll include a print statement here so we can see that they're being called and the username being used. Here we create an agent that will be used to access each of the systems by selecting tools associated with them. We also have a user proxy agent to execute the tools. So here we create a class for our usernames and passwords based on base context. Here we create credentials and tools for our two systems. Each one will take their own parameter as well as the credentials parameter. Again, this is hidden from the LLM and we are passing in specific credentials to each tool. The credentials injected into the functions will be used with the mock functions we created earlier. Finally, let's see it in action. We use a group chat to query our two agents, asking for the weather and ticket availability for the highly anticipated AG2 Live concert. Okay, so we can see the weather agent called the getWeather tool, and that called our mock function using the username AG2 Weather from the injected account. Similarly, we can see the ticket agent called the tickets available tool and utilize the injected account information to get ticket availability. And it's no surprise that it's fully sold out. And that's dependency injection for tools. Thanks to the community and contributors that made this release happen.